Hey guys, what's up? Kevin Buddy over here, and welcome back to Video File Freak. And today I got this unit right here, the Sony. What is it? It is an SLV D three fifty P. So this is a DVD VCR combo. I opened it up, and then I'm just checking it out to see if it actually does work. I took the drive out. I cleaned up the laser. I put it back together, and I actually cleaned up the video head as well. So I know that is working. But this. DVD player has a few issues of its own, and I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So, won't open. My only way on opening this disc, this disc tray, is doing this. So, lubrication on the on the motor. It's totally gone. I did clean up the laser, and uh, hopefully it works. Hopefully it's not a defective laser, but I did take this drive out, unplug it from the circuit board that's underneath, clean up the laser as much as I can with a Q-tip. Q-tip with alcohol is a good way to clean up a laser from a DVD player or a CD player or Blu-ray player or any player. You just take a Q-tip, you dip it in alcohol, and you try to go back there as much as you can and clean up the laser. Uh, so, and then I clean up the laser as much as I can. So that's the only way that you can actually clean a laser off of this unit. I'm going to put a DVD in and see if that actually does work. See if that little tippet fix it. Here we go. So Q-tip and alcohol will actually clean a laser from a DVD player with no problems whatsoever. So if you're so if your DVD player is actually sitting there doing nothing and not reading the disc, Q-tip and alcohol will actually work. So it's playing perfectly fine. Just going through the previews and shit. And it goes straight to the menu. So, there you go. Fixed DVD player. And the disc tray actually opens when there's a disc in there. <clears throat> and this is a refurbished product, too, by Sony. VCR works perfectly fine. Like I said, I clean up the, the video head. And I actually take the video head cleaner that was in this unit which sits right here. And the reason why I took it out, because it's deteriorated. Um, so this will actually damage the video head if it just hits the video head slightly. Because when you put a tape in, this will actually hit the video head really quickly, clean it up really, really quickly, and then the tape loads into the player. So take this out if it's deteriorated like this, it just fits right there, and then you can just yank it out, and then you don't need this. It's just there for an automatic, quick cleaning from the video head. But you really don't need that, so if it's deteriorated, take it out. If not, then you can actually damage your video head. So let's put in the tape. Let's see if this guy works too. Here we go. No issues at all. Press play. <clears throat> and it is working. Stop it. Eject it. Problems. It 
Sorry for the blurriness, you guys. <clears throat> this camera sucks for making videos with, but this is all that I have. No problems at all. Stop it and eject it. And I actually fixed this whole DVD and VCR player or DVD VHS player in less than an hour. The only problem that it has now it won't turn off. <laughs> I'm clicking it as much as I can and it will not turn off. That's a little nostalgia for you right here. And that is the video, you guys. So I actually do, so I actually did fix this DVD and VCR combo. So all I have to do is put the cover back on and it's all set. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Please leave a like, please subscribe. And I do have another product coming in for you guys. And it is a Toshiba DVD player. So I'm getting rid of my Sony. DVD player that's over here. This guy right here. I'm getting rid of this guy. And I'm replacing it with a Toshiba DVD player. Now a lot of people is like, oh you got a you got a good perfectly good working HD DVD player that you can actually play DVDs. Yeah, but I like to keep my players separate. So I only play this for HD DVDs, my Panasonic for Blu-rays. And I do have a JVC VCR right here that I'm going to make a video about. So, that's it. So this video is all about the Sony. The Sony SLV-D350. And that's how you clean up and fix a DVD player. And clean up the video head. That's it, you guys. See you guys on the next video. Later.